Hello, today is April 2nd, it's a beautiful day and I will be making some cutting boards today and the material that I will be using is soft maple. Uh, I have a customer, he's been asking me to make cutting boards for him for about six months now. He has a laser machine and he lasers some designs in it and uh, so he wants some for Mother's Day so uh, I promise this is it. You know when it comes to April it starts to be nice outside I'll start making some for you and uh, I asked him if soft maple was okay and he's fine with it so I'm gonna choose some nice piece uh, without knots in it so I'll make some, be making some beautiful cutting boards today Okay, now I'm ready to glue the boards together. I got all my pieces cut up, but I gotta make sure it's absolutely 90 degree. Uh, this is a machinist combination square, so it's it's a true 90 degree. And if this is not 90 degree, I'm gonna have problems when I glue it up. So I gotta make sure it's very close or absolute 90 degree. I'm waiting for my soft maple cutting boards to dry up. They're all glued up. And uh, in the meanwhile that they dry up, I'm, I'm gonna start making a hard maple cutting board. This is hard maple here, it's kiln dry. And, um, and I'm gonna split them in half before I plane them. I don't wanna glue boards that are this wide because they have a, a better chance of warping, you know, when you bring them in a house and they, uh, they would acclimatize. So this board is five inches wide. So I'm going to be uh, making my cutting boards with strips that are two and a half inches wide. And um, I'm not going to plane it right away because I'm going to waste way too much wood. You see there, there's a huge camphor here. When it was in a kiln dry, it, it warped. So if I try to plane that on both sides till it gets straight, I'm going to waste a lot of wood. So I'm going to split it in half first with the uh, table saw and then I'm going to plane them. So there's going to be less of a camphor on a, on a two and a half inch strip compared to the, the five inch strip. So I'll, by the time I plane it nice and flat on each side, I'm not gonna waste as much wood. Okay, now that I split the board in half, I'm going to plane it down on top and bottom till it gets nice and flat and smooth. Okay, now uh, both sides of the boards are flat. Now this will not be square because when I when I cut the board in the uh, table saw, the board was rounded, and now I flatten it out, and this will not be true true square. I don't know if you can see this on the camera. It's pretty close, but I can see a little bit of sunlight on the right hand side, and I guarantee you some of them will be worse. So now that it's flat on both sides, we have to trim both sides with the table saw again to, to truly put it square.
Okay, right now it's dead on square. As long as your your table saw is set nice and square, um, I don't even think I need to plane this. I will just glue it the way it is. Okay, now that the board is nice and dry, we are going to plane it, make it nice and flat. Okay, my planer is just a portable planer, so it leaves a snipe. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. There's there's like a ridge right here, right here. I'm assuming you, you can't, you probably can't see it on the camera. So that's why I cut my boards extra long. I cut them at 22 inches, but I want cutting boards at 16 inches long. So I made sure I had at least three inches on each end to get rid of the snipe. <laughs> 